page, um, Roman numeral page 26. Roman numeral page 26 has your basic fat fluency, or your fluency work on it, and it shows where it is at in your book. You have to look all over the place for it. We're going to talk about it later at a different uh, time that I meet with you when we're connected over the internet. I think we're all good. Um, because there's kind of a lot to go through here, but this is just a page that shows you where everything's at. However, this is not enough to meet your <coughs> standards for basic fat fluency. What I preach to my county is every teacher, every day, at least five minutes. Second grade, you need more than that. Your second grade standard is know from memory all the basic facts for addition and subtraction. So kindergarten, you're responsible for up to sums of five for addition and subtraction. First grade, you're responsible for sums up to 10. And then second grade's responsible for sums to 20. Okay? The only way you're gonna do that is if you're working with basic facts every single day, like five or 10 minutes. This book right here is what I have everybody buy. The front matter here is really good. It's the latest research on how kids learn basic fact fluency. I normally give like a three-day session just on teaching basic fact fluency. And so there's a lot to it. But what I like about this book is every chapter has one strategy and games, center-based games, so that you can have your kids in centers playing or use it as a sponge activity or whatever. But they're really good games and it's all around the strategy. So you have lots of manipulatives also, and if you want, if you're organized the way I am, what I do is I put a bag for each kid, or make a bag for each kid, and number the bag, and number all the pieces in the bag. So that if something falls on the floor, you know what bag it goes to, and you know who it goes to. This is really time consuming. If you want to be that organized, get a parent to do it, help you out with it. Other than that, make sure there's a lost and found, so that if you find a card on the floor, you have a place to go put it. Okay. Kids can put it in there and then find out if they're missing them or not. Kindergarten, your manipulatives, you have a lot to keep track of. Sometimes what uh, kindergarten teachers like to do is first work in pairs so they don't have quite as many out. But you have these little cubes and strips for counting and then your number tiles okay, on board or on lunch trays. And you are constantly putting them in, taking them out, giving them to the kids. You've got to find really quick, efficient ways to get materials passed out and brought back in. Okay? These static electricity will keep them if you pile them up on the trays up. So if you're piling trays, make sure you rub your hand underneath them so that if there anything's on the bottom, they fall or put a piece of paper in between them. Okay? But that's something that you're really gonna have to work on. It's gonna drive you nuts until you figure out a good routine to use with the kids. So work on procedures and routines for the neighborhood is gonna be key. Second grade, if you want to stick around, I'll give you one more piece of advice because your first unit is a major one with problem solving. Okay. Other than that, you have my cell number. Call me at the end of time, just after 10 p.m. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I'll be there.